Oh. We're going to take the carbs apart. Why? That's why. So, um, sit there, watch this, see how many of these little things I can round off, you know, ruin, spoil. Um, top tips for carb. Also, you may have noticed, camera's in a different place, so you're mostly going to be seeing me hands today. Right. And belly. So just live with that. Chinese pots. Keep the things separate as best we can. And a spare one for odds and ends. That'll do. We'll strip these down, we'll put the things in there, and then we'll get stuff in the fizzy fizz maker with the stuff. And it'll all come beautifully clean. So uh let's go normally of course these are sat that way on inlet hoses inlet rubbers that sits on the engine like that in between the v because that's where like one's pointing that way and one's pointing the other way uh, but we're just going to take all the gubbins off to start with Put that somewhere, work out how these come apart, and then um, get inside them. Don't know how long this bike's been sat, you see. So if it's been sat for ages, they'll all be horrendous. And all varnishy and stuff. Look at my old screwdriver, look. Must be at least a hundred years old, this one. Easy. Anyway, it's good for um, getting inlet rubbers off of carburetors. One. Next one. Screwdriver. Can you see what I'm doing now? Are you interested? get some of these other hoses off you've got to remember where they come from because I really can't remember a thing a little tiny doofer hate these little clips Twist them, grab them, move them, just get them gone best you can. You know, struggle, struggle with them. I'll stop running to my toolbox in a second when I've got, you know, all of the things I need to get out of it. Come on, nice little hose. Off you come. Where do you go? You go right way down there. Nice. Same sort of thing. Trying not to destroy the hose. Remember, bottom up. Remember. Let's take off this great lumpy one. Here. Plastic, don't snap. Good. Two, same on this side. 
these are more like breathers. So, not too concerned. But don't want to snap these little elbows in. Left and right, what do you think? Are they the same? No. Nope. I'll absolutely forget which ones they went on to. Hmm, I need a bit of a system here. We'll deal with that later. Right, choke cables. Choke cables live into here. They need to unscrew. What's the better? They won't unscrew. Then we can take that off. Then we've just got the carbs on it. So. Same on that side. Can I get a spanner on it? No chance. But we'll try. What size is that? Oh, it looks like 10. Not though, is it? Yes, it is. Is that you spinning around? Spin, spin back, spin, pause, spin. Why are you so awkward? Come away, you have a boot. Choke, needle, needle, spring, 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 needle, needle, don't fall off the end. Thank you. What did I just tell you? Right, if you're going to be like that, be like that. See if I can. I don't care. Can fall off as much as you like. You undo as well. This is this one. All the same. So many things to come off. Right. Ten. Spin. Spin, spin, spin. Spin. Pull gently. Spring. Slide, spring, top bit, cable, one's long, one's short. Remember which way around they went? I've already forgotten. <laughs> it's never going to work again. Okay, I don't think we need Mr. Old Screwdriver anymore. I don't think we might need you. We don't need you to for a minute. You can go out the way. So, what are we dealing with? Carb, carb, thing, doofers, top bits, great. This is the, it goes on the, to the throttles. Nice. That's your idle screw. That will be the air screw, one for that side. One for that side, we'll take them out later. We might take them out, we might leave them in, because that's holding that in, that's coming out. Let's do this. Right. Remember, throttle side stays pointing that way for that bucket. Got to work, hasn't it? Has to. Ready? Press down. Hard. Did you hear that? Oh, that's a lovely sound. Press down. Yes. Press down. You can't press down hard. Turn it so that you can. If you're not pressing down hard with the old screwdriver, you're going to slip. Did that one.
remember it. That one goes that side. One. Two. It's normally a big spring inside these. I've not taken this sort of carburetor apart before, before, but they all tend to be reasonably similar. You know, fuel and air go in, and um, they work. Well, they do normally until I get my hands on them, and then uh, they might stop working. Ready? Spring. Nice spring. Quite a weak spring. Whoop. Go in. And inside there is the diaphragm, which is connected to your needle valve. Okay, so your throttle controls the air butterfly. That's just air. Air rushes through, venturi stuff happens, eventually that pushes up. Diaphragm against the spring, needles are tapered. Tapered needle fits in the main jet. As the tapered needle comes out the main jet, you get more fuel. It's all sort of Venturi stuff. It's very clever. So the main jet's down there. When you're on full chat, it's just main jet working. Nice. That looks not too bad in there. Okay, but that's normally air at the top of there. Is that right? Or did you just tell a fib? Bring at the top, yeah, yeah, you know, it's fine. Atmospheric pressure, off to your breather. Wind. Okay, so that's good. Let's whiz you upside down. And take your bottom off. Same again, little screws, press down. One. Two. Oh yeah. Three. Go on. Yes. Or oh. slip, stab. Okay, so stab hand any second now. Get ready. You were ready, weren't you? I was. I even had my next level, the, you know, little thing lined up, what to say. One. Same note, good. Three, that one's got the um, the clamp later on it. Three, four. They're all the same size. This one should come off now. a whistle. Mostly. Bit of snot in the bottom there, look. We'll soon whiz that out. I've seen those like, you know, yellow varnish. Horrible. Float chambers, main jet, pilot jet, other jet. Does something else. Let's get those out, see what they look like. Main jet. So we're looking for all these little tiny holes here, and these get all blocked up. Right, 
there's a hole at the end and that gets blocked up looks pretty good actually I'm not too worried so far that's all good I'm gonna jet they're not in there very tight that's fine pilot jet does your idle Same sort of thing, little holes, hole at the inside, that's all good. Floats, edge gum, little tiny pivot, pivot bar, floats come out with your Oak needle valve. Nice little rubbery end on it. That's the bit that stops working and all the fuel pisses into your engine. That can go in there. That's your float valve. We might just need a socket on you. What size is that? No, it's bigger than that. Bigger. It's way bigger. Not, you know, spot on. You're way tighter. If you're any more tighter than that, you might have to stay in there. You can stay. No real need to get you out. You'll be fine. So that's you. All looking pretty clean in there. See, there's a bit of snot down the bottom. Can't do much about that. That's all okay. We'll leave you where you are. You don't need to come off. And I think we will take you off. Air shut off valve. Shall we? Shall we? Bit of a diaphragm spring behind there. I'm just thinking, do I need to disturb it or not? Look at how clean everything else is. I'm thinking to myself, I might not bother. I'm not going to bother. I'm also not going to disturb this O-ring. Okay, looks pretty good, still looks roundish, still looks flush. So you can stay there, little chappy. You'll do your job again for me. Right. Nothing else is coming out of there. Nothing else is coming out of there. You're all good to stay on. That's your car balancing screw. Just adjusts the throttles between the two on the linkages. So let's twist the other one apart and get him in the bath. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Tell you what. I could have just left this one on the side. Would have been perfectly fine to go back in. But you know, I like taking stuff apart. Big spring, good, tidy, clean, nice. Diaphragm, just looking for tears, rips, holes. It's all looking pretty good. Um, you can open these holes up a little bit to get a bit more for the older uh, needle. We'll do that later. That's all good, that can all stay. Place your bets. Oh yeah. Yes. Slip your hand through the thumb. Go. No, nope, rounding. Third one. Did you hear that? Sound of success. A bit more downward pressure, please. It's always the last one. Always the last one. <sighs> right. Do 
do do do. So we'll need a bit of a tap. A bit of a tap. Gently though. So he's tight. So I press, and they're also made out of like plasticine. So if you don't press down, that rides up, rounds them off. Once they're rounded off, you're pretty much screwed. So, just checking the faces here. So we can give it a bit of pain without injuring anything. What I want to do is give that a tap. I'm twisting it. That might be difficult to hold and do the same thing at the same time. Ready? Nope. Right, Mr. Camera, you're going to have to move because you're sat in my vice. I'm going to grab you nicely. I'm going to hold you still so I can give you some pain. You haven't got too many chances with these. They've got to come undone. Um, nice. So, pause. Let me reset. And we'll be back in a minute. What's he doing? Gripping the thing in the vice. Don't worry. It's just holding it. Remember, this one is too tight to undo. Well, it was long, too tight on the bench. I might give it another try in a minute here in the vice, just so it can't go anywhere. Is it going? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the fuss was about. The other option I've got what I was going to do was use these little tools. A bit like an impact driver, but not as harsh. You give it a good twist, and then you just gently tap. And then they undo. Top little tip that didn't need to use it, just needed to hold it a bit more firmly so I could get some more downward pressure on. Uh, but you're gripping it in the vice. It's perfectly fine. One. Two. Look, there's you. <laughs> Over there, aren't we? little stuff. Why is it always the last one that's the stubborn one? Hmm? Off you come. Off you come. Do I need to give you a little bit of persuasion? Gently. Clean as you like. O-ring came out of that one that time. Fine. Leaving it in the vice because it's just easier. That's all. Main jet. Great. Pilot. Perfect. Floats. Nice. Float needle. Slack. Good. done. 
I'm happy with that. Last thing I might take out are these little pilot um, air bleed screws. Set the set the fuel air mixture. But before I do that, I'm going to count how many screws they are in, and then I'll actually I'll tell you how many because then you can remember. I need to remember then. Okay, so that's a flat-headed one. Ready? From here. Half. One. One and a half. One and a half. Remember one and a half for the sticky out one. Tiny little needle on the end of there. Sometimes a little o-ring inside them as well. Haha, <laughs> and a spring. This one, a bit more sunk in. Don't ask me why. Right, counting. Pointing that way. Half. One. One and a half. Bang on. That's easy. Remember those. One and a half each. Spring. Spring. Good. Job done, job done, job done, job done. Not going to split them in half, no need to at all. Not going to interfere with that balancing screw, no need to at all. Um, might have to balance them up a bit later on. Not going to take these off either, because should I? Yeah. Hey. Yep. Hey. Spring behind them, and probably a diaphragm. The reason I was a bit hesitant was I didn't want to break it. Yeah, good decision. Bit snotty, bit rusty. Seems reasonable. That will fall off in a minute, but that's okay. That's holding that in. Yeah. That's okay. Those two screws can go back in there. Tiny little O ring in there. Do you want to come out, my friend? Out of it. All right. Anybody else going to fall off? Fall out. Come loose. Do anything? You can probably come out now, though, can't you? Yes. Right. Okay. That's cool. In for a penny, in for a pound, and all that. Hey. Yes. there good good spring good diaphragm good you come out good right that's definitely as far apart as I want to come so now 
I want to introduce you to my little friend. It's over there. Did anybody see that fall out? Hmm. It's exciting. Where did you come from, little fella? Where did you come from? I found the other one. Comes out of the pilot screw hole. Cool. Nice one. One of them, one of them. That's the little um, O-ring and washer I was talking about. Okay. Can you see those there? Uh, little tiny little things. Good. Okay, so if you've, uh, where are you? You're going here. If you've never used one of these before, they're ace. They're great for cleaning stuff up. Uh, that carburetor, I should probably clean up some of the oil and stuff on it on the dirt, but, you know, just for, you know, the sake of this video, I'll show you what I like to do with these. So, first things is, you need to get some liquid inside these. So I like to use a bit of, um, a bit of Bombay Sapphire. Just to get things going, that'll do nicely. Um, then, to give it a bit more of a uh, of a cleaning solution, some nice tankery. But make sure you get the number ten if you can. Export strength. Nice. Ooh, get that in there. Brilliant. Lovely, and because um, this is special, let's get the cork out a minute. I recommend some mermaid gin. Hmm, nice. Okay, so that just gets things going nicely. Then. You know, to really get it going, some Allendale Ultrasonics Carburetor Ultrasonic Cleaning Solution. That's nice. Never get the two mixed up though. It says mix about, um, about 10 to 1. But, you know, you've got to have a nice strong one, haven't you? So once that is sorted, we'll do a bit of a before and after. Look at how oily all this stuff is. Okay. Have a nice little look in there. Plenty of goop. I'm not too as clean as a whistle on the inside, to be fair. This is mostly going to be a cosmetic thing on the outside. Okay. Springs. All the bits and bobs. We'll chuck that in. Lovely, it needs some more gin. Um, and then we'll turn it on and it'll make a hell of a racket. I'll show you what it's looking like uh, in a bit. I should probably degas the stuff, you know, that's what they say in the book. It's going to get degassed anyway. What? How does that help? Just leave it in there for longer. Strange. Anyway, more gin. And then we'll stick the lid on, and then we'll see if we can deal with the noise for, for ages. And we'll turn up the old temperature. Actually, we'll do that now. Turn that on. On, on. Heat, 80 degrees. Thank you. Heating, heating. Warm. Good. More gin required. Nearly forgot the tonic.
Right, come and see. Okay, it's not up to temperature yet, but when I turn it on, it makes a horrendous noise, but you can see all the dirt lift off. Let's hope this works for you. You ready? Go. <laughs> 